You know, Matt, it's not every day that you get big names in the big country, but today was one of those rare occasions. That's exactly right. I had the opportunity to catch up on a variety of topics with two of baseball's best in Joe Morgan and Pete Rose. The Key City got a visit from two of baseball's greatest players on Sunday as Pete Rose and Joe Morgan were in town to speak at the Zach Robinson Memorial Foundation Banquet. But before they took to the podium, they spent a little time talking with us. Ron Washington doesn't get the credit he deserves. You just think back what kind of team this was before he got here. He turned it into a, a running team. Guys run, they hit and run, they bunt, they do a lot of things that are exciting. Uh, he makes things happen, and that's the way Sparky was. Ron Washington is that reason, reason that it started that way. Uh, I think Nolan Ryan and his group are the reason that it's continued. Yeah, they got a good ball club. They got a good offense. Nolan Ryan did a good job there. It's just a shame that uh, my seven-year-old grandson wasn't playing right field for him last year. They had won the World Series. He'd have caught that ball. <laughs> but that, that, that guy's a pretty good player anyway. But he just, he just uh, misjudged that ball a little bit, and and. and uh, you know, when you're within one strike twice and winning the World Series, I've been there. It's rough to lose them. It's rough. But they got back twice in a row, and they probably the favorite to go back this year. What do you, what right. do, you do in these days to keep yourself busy? Well, I actually work for the Reds. I work for the Reds baseball team. I'm, I'm an advisor to the uh, general manager is the basic court answer. And I'm also an uh, advisor on the business side to uh, Phil Castellini, who's the owner's son. And, um, you know, I enjoy it. I enjoy being involved with the Reds because I love the Reds. I don't worry. I don't worry about any of that stuff. I, mean, I don't worry about the Hall of Fame. If I ever went to the Hall of Fame, I'd be the happiest guy in the world. But, I, you know, I don't want you to think I go home tonight and before I go to bed, I pray I go to the Hall of Fame tomorrow because I'm the one who screwed up. I can't worry about that. And it was great talking to those guys. We had a lot, lot to talk about. I could talk to Joe Morgan for hours about baseball. I'm sure. But